James Kaufman, World News Report, today, September 6, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a space rock, a near-Earth object, inbound to pass between the Moon and Earth tomorrow, September 7, 2024. This information was just released by JPL. We're going to get you all we can, as quick as we can. It's a large rock, over 50 to 60 feet in diameter. It's traveling extremely fast at 16.6 kilometers per second. One of the fastest near-Earth objects I've seen in some time. There's good news and bad news as always. Again, this is close approach for tomorrow, September 7th, 2024. Tonight, we're live with the Starliner return. That's going to be in about six hours at about 9 p.m. Probably go live about 8.30 with that. I hope you all join us for Starliner's live uncrewed re-entry. With that said, we have 2024. RR3 to pass between Earth and the Moon tomorrow. You can see the very large inclination. This is always a bad sign. There's always bad news and good news. The good news is it's supposed to pass closer to our Moon than our Earth. So we'll take that as the good news here. And we'll take it a day. And you can see how close it really gets. We're going to check out the details and the actual close approach data here. The inclination is bad news. The speed is bad news. There's a chance that that rock will not break up. We've seen much smaller rocks not break up lately. We don't have much of an atmosphere up there left. So again, this is headed between Earth and and the moon at some point tomorrow and we'll give you an exact time in just one second 2024 rr3 solution date today september 6th observations a total of 23 observations over four days i'm surprised they didn't release this data and i'm surprised that uh, they only have 23 observations over four days i guess it's the inclination there's a condition code of seven. Zero being good, they know exactly where the rock is headed. Nine being highly uncertain. Seven is much closer to highly uncertain than knowing where the rock is headed. Of course, automatic or AI software saw the rock here. Let's see how close it's going to get and what time we should expect it to pass between the Earth and the Moon. It's amazing how much close approach data they've extrapolated from 23 observations. I've never seen this before. They have seven pages, both past and well, future passes. We're going to look at this pass. It's going to be September 7th, 2024, right here. Earth.002. And the moon point zero zero four, so it's going to be twice as close to the Earth as the moon, and the moon is around two hundred and twenty thousand miles away. So with that information, we can quickly find out we're looking about seventy thousand miles, seventy five thousand miles from Earth, about two sixth of the way to the moon. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, it's going to be coming closer to Earth than the Moon. We do have a condition code of 7, which brings us close to highly uh, highly uncertain, which is never good. They've only had 23 observations over several days, which is very strange. Even stranger, they've extrapolated, well, at least 40 different approaches to Earth, both past and future, from these few observations. So, in closing, 2024 RR3 inbound, a near Earth object, a space rock, will pass between Earth and the Moon. 
according to everything JPO can figure out from their 23 observations. It's moving at 16.6 uh, kilometers per second, which is extremely fast. It's got a really bad inclination. It very well might not blow up in the atmosphere based on the inclination and speed. And the size of the rock is somewhere between 50 and 65 feet in diameter. We actually had one that was only three and a half feet in diameter make it to the ground just a day or two ago. So this one has a great chance if it does enter our atmosphere. Let's take a look at the actual times so of those close, uh, close approaches. All right, this is going to be 7.52 UTC time. Now, that's going to put us right at 2.52 this morning, or tomorrow morning, 2.52 tomorrow morning, central time here in the U.S. So at some point while we're sleeping tonight, this rock should make our close approach towards Earth. And it won't make its close approach to the moon until 1310 UTC time, which is about 610 in the morning central time here in the U.S. So I would say, let's hope Starliner doesn't actually hit it. But this rock is supposed to be so far out that Starliner wouldn't have a chance to be anywhere near it. Starliner is said to be around 200 miles up not 70 to 75,000 miles uh, above Earth, if you will. And Starliner should be coming home tonight uncrewed. Again, we will hold that live. I hope you all join us at World News Report today. God bless each and every one of you guys. Eyes to the skies. Please share and subscribe. Always remember that anything's possible. Bizarro world.